Going Native, Pilot, written by Ian Gregory Trutt. Text on screen made to look like those very factual blocks of text at the beginning of period pieces. The Taino are the indigenous people of Puerto Rico and other islands in the Caribbean. From 1492 to 1518, almost 90% of the population was wiped out. Exterior, Puerto Rico, day. Large, sweeping shots of the island in all its glory. Beaches, mountains, forests. Native music plays as we survey the landscape. The tiny coqui frog, the harvest of cassava, the villages made up of boyhios and central cane, round huts circled around one larger rectangular one. Text. Columbus was first celebrated in the United States in 1792, and Columbus Day was made a national holiday in 1934. Exterior, beach, day. We see a blue crab that has just molted, scuttling along the beach, full of new life. It is pierced with a long sword. The music stops, abruptly. Text. Fuck this guy. Pan up. We see the man holding the sword as he holds the crab up to his face. This is Christopher Columbus, aged 41, Italian explorer, charmer, and America's first douchebag. Gross. A couple men stand behind him, unloading various supplies of a small dinghy. Columbus puffs his chest, ready to make a grand speech. Men, I want you to bask in this moment. They said we were crazy. They said, Chris, you can't get to the East Indies by going west, but that is precisely what we have just achieved. Admittedly, it's taken a bit longer than I anticipated, but we've done it nevertheless. And none of this would be possible without our ships. He gestures to three ships approaching land. The Nina, sleek, curvy, and with just the right amount of wood covering her. One of the men raises his hand. Sir, you know Nina means little girl in Spanish. Don't make it weird, Craig. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a ship. I'm just saying, don't you think christening ships with female names is just a form of normalizing the objectification of women? My name is Chris. I christen things. I'm an expert, okay? Like when I christen this land, the East Indies, you know that what I'm saying is true. Now, like I was saying, we have our ships to thank for getting us here. The Nina, the Pinta, and my crown jewel, the magnificent Santa Maria. The first two ships land safely on shore. A swell in majestic music as the impressive Santa Maria comes to land. And immediately crashes. A loud cracking sound and splintering of wood. The ship crumples, its front end now significantly lower and run aground. Are you kidding me? We just got here! Your speech, sir. Why bother? Those idiots already took the wind out of my sails. Literally. Okay, no. They're not going to get to me. Let's just focus on the fact that we're here. We've discovered a new western passage to the East Indies, and we've got this beautiful, new, uninhabited island to claim as our own. Two Taino teens run along the shore and into the tree line. Oh, come on! Cut to title.